Hi everyone, today we're going to be creating a super simple animation in OpenTunes. So let's have a look at what we're going to make. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so to start, we're just going to click on Windows, Other Windows, Toolbar. Now we have a toolbar, which we can use to access the various tools that we need to create our scene. But we're also going to need a tool option bar. So click Windows, Other Windows, Tool Option Bar. This allows us to change the different options for the tools that we use. Now we're going to draw our sky for our scene. So here is the camera, this is what we can see. Here are the different layers. Here are the different frames. So as time goes on, we'll go to different frames. So let's very quickly create the sky. Draw a shape, a very rough shape, that goes beyond the field of view of the camera using this paintbrush tool, and then fill it using the fill tool. We'll need to add a new color. So go down to this level palette, hit new style by clicking right click, and then selecting it. Now choose a color from over here in the style editor window. I'm going to select something like this for my sky. And then apply. So apply the color to the style fill. And now we have a nice background. Let's add some details, we'll add some stars. So right click, new style. This will be our star color. I'm gonna select a yellow, hit apply. And I'm gonna very quickly draw some rough stars. This is just a learning exercise, so they don't need to be perfect. Okay, this is quite ugly now. should be okay for our purposes today. I'm going to move some of these stars around. I can do that by using the control point tool, selecting all the points, clicking on one of the control points, and then moving it. Also move these curves like so, just like you would with Inkscape. And I'll make sure that these are filled with yellow. Okay, now that we've created our sky, let's create our planet. So let's go to a new layer so that we can change the planet more easily. We use the paintbrush tool again and very quickly draw a rough planet. Okay, this planet, actually I want more of my picture to be taken up by the planet, so I'm going to undo that with Control and Z. Perhaps go up to here. Now, complete the shape. Fill the planet with a blue-gray color. Oh, we should add a new style first. Click new style, select our color, fill it, no, oh, sorry, apply, and it will affect that, which has affected the fill that I have already done. Again, I'm going to select black, draw in some details, add another crater here. Okay, so here is our very simple planet surface. I'm going to add a new layer for our UFO. And this time we're going to use a new tool. We're going to use the 
shape tool, which is also known as a geometry tool. Then after selecting that, choose the shape, and we're gonna use an ellipse to draw our UFO. Draw a very simple ellipse like this. Select the color. Hit apply, fill, and I want to adjust the size of this shape, so I'm just using the this tool here, the selection tool. I make it something like that. Never mind that. I just turned on auto saving. That's what that window was about. So okay, that should be okay for today. Let's draw another ellipse for the cockpit geometry tool. Actually, I want a new color for this. So I'm going to click new style. I'm going to select the color. Perhaps something more like this. Hit apply. Actually, we might make it a little bit more blue to contrast with the color of the planet. Fill the shape. That's quite ugly, so we need to change the size of that. Okay, that was rather simple. Now, since everything else is a black outline, perhaps I will create a black outline here. I could have drawn the black outline at the beginning and just simply filled the shapes. Perhaps that would have been better. But since I didn't, we'll have to make do with this. And there we go, I've made another mistake. I need to use a different color. So let's add a new style. I'm gonna select black. And then draw the outline again. Oh. Apply the color, apply, I'm going to quickly correct that. We can also delete some of these control points if we want to make it a little smoother. I've already created a shortcut for the delete key. You can do the same if you wish by clicking customize and then customize shortcuts. Alternatively, the delete key is found in edit delete. Okay, it's quite rough, but we don't need to make anything perfect today. We're just trying out this program. Okay, and now I'm going to draw the feet for the spaceship. Right, so here we have a very simple spaceship. Now to animate the scene. So click on the frame here where the picture is inserted and move this little gray shape down to increase how long we see that picture. So let's create a scene that is 30 seconds long, 30 frames long, sorry. 
So there's 30 frames. I'm going to create, change the planet surface to 30 frames. I'm going to do the same for the spaceship. Now to animate the spaceship, we use this tool here. I'm going to click once here now, then move down to the 30th frame, then reposition it outside of the camera. And it should, if I've done that correctly, which perhaps I have not. No, so I've done something wrong there. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's move this here. Then again, let's move to this frame. Good, so now let's check. There we go, now it has filled in the frames between those two key keyframes. Okay, so now we can render here and preview our animation. And that is what it looks like. Of course, you could fine tune that and move this. Perhaps we will move this UFO so we can see all of the legs. We'll go to this frame, use the tool again. Just lift it up a little bit, ever so slightly. Render. Again, we're missing the bottom foot there, but that could be different when we view it in a different viewer. Just because it irritates me a little bit, I'm just going to move it up again ever so slightly. Render it out. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, everyone, I hope you found this useful. And I hope that we that I can get around to creating a few more tutorials in the near future.